Are you ready? Go go fun on me. Hey. Give them. Hey yo, pause. Look at my one side. Hey, let's go. Why do the Ghanaian citizenship? Did the, we had two reasons for doing the Ghanaian citizenship. The first one was to ensure that we cannot ever be separated by borders or by legalities because laws change every day, migration rules change every day. You know what a situation where you wake up one day and God forbid one of our countries has decided to leave ECOWAS and now one of us needs a visa to go and see the other one. So we just wanted to eliminate that to make sure that we can never be separated by borders. And the second reason was actually financial. My husband legally works in Ghana and he's a legal resident in Ghana. And for him to continue being a legal resident, he needs to have something called a residence permit. This allows him to live and work in Ghana. The ECOWAS just allows you allows ECOWAS nationals 90 days free entry to travel to each other's countries but you can't work in order to work you need the residence permits but it's costly before he can do the residence permit he first needs to apply for a non-citizenship Ghana card which is $60 and you need to renew it every year so with the non-citizenship Ghana card you use that to apply for the residence permit which is $500 every year so for him to stay live and work in Ghana we need to spend $560 every year just for that. It, it was just getting too expensive. And once you've qualified for your Ghanaian citizenship, especially through marriage like we did, it just, I don't know, it just made sense. Like, why would you be paying $560 every year just to be with your family if you can just get citizenship? So that's just why we did it. So those of you in the comment section who are saying, oh, Ghana is better than Nigeria, oh, why will you get a Ghanaian citizenship? Who Ghana citizenship help? Blah, blah, blah. No. These were our reasons for getting a Ghanaian citizenship.